वेलकम टू टूडेज लेक्चर टूडेज टॉपिक इज पैकेजिंग ऑफ मिल्क एंड मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ मिल्क एंड डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स एंड एट द एंड ऑफ एवरी प्रोसेसिंग ब्रीफली वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द पैकेजिंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स पैकेजिंग मेटेरियल्स एंड टाइप्स एट्सेट्रा here in a single place we will discuss about the packaging some of the basic aspects functions requirements and packaging materials and their properties and then for each product separately we will discuss first about the packaging of liquid milk and packaging of different kind of products so here we will have a complete idea about the overall packaging requirements of different kind of milk and milk products here a brief introduction about packaging of milk and milk products milk is a liquid and so requires a container at every stage for its containing and protection packaging of milk is the technique of using appropriate containers to protect carry and merchandise any milk product vital link between the manufacturer and consumer packaging is the vital link and it is necessary for delivering fresh sound and convenient form of milk or milk products so packaging is one of the essential requirements for containing the milk or milk products and their protection and preservation of the quality until it is reaching to the consumer or until it is consumed so what is packaging once again let us understand in a better way packaging refers to the scientific method of containing a food for optimum protection till it reaches the consumer in modern terms packaging is considered as a marketing tool because through the packaging we can educate the consumers and also promote marketing by putting many important aspect of the product including the storage aspect nutritional aspect and other benefits proper packaging helps in maintaining the quality of the product during storage transport and provides convenience of handling so it helps in convenient storage easy transport and handling by the consumers here we will see the functions of packaging firstly prevent moisture loss during storage as we know many dairy products the moisture is removed so once we store slowly there will be moisture absorbed inside so the packaging material should prevent the entry of moisture in such dairy products secondly prevent microbial contamination so after processing the any product is hygienically safe and microbiologically safe so it should not allow any contamination to the final processed food products or dairy products even it is milk or any other products it prevents foreign odor absorption so every food item raw or processed can easily absorb any surrounding odor so this packaging prevents the absorption of any such odor prevent lipid oxidation so milk and milk products mostly rich in fat and this fat is always susceptible to oxidation so this packaging material prevents the effect of direct light light always induces oxidation in the fat so thereby this packaging material can prevent the oxidation of the product and finally help in consumer education i already mentioned through the packaging material we can convey many important informations leading to the consumer education including about the storage about the health benefits about the nutritional facts etc now about the basic packaging materials used in packaging of milk and milk products firstly paper and paper based products secondly glass bottles which were very common in earlier days then we had all kind of plastic materials but nowadays slowly glass material is coming back tin plate most of the time tin containers or cans are used in many packaging materials for particularly for ghee and milk powder then aluminum foil which is very very important nowadays for making the moisture barrier sometime combined with plastic films then timber that is the wood based materials 
plastics which became the most important packaging material either flexible or rigid or in the form of films or containers or bottles then low density polymers or high density polymers and the laminates so laminates are the composite layers of two or three different materials which gives the best barrier properties for packaging here we will see about the packaging materials and forms packaging materials and forms are classified into four category firstly rigid packaging materials and forms second semi rigid packaging material and forms thirdly flexible packaging materials and finally flexible packaging forms so these are different packaging materials and forms which we are going to discuss little more details here in continuation about packaging forms firstly rigid packaging materials and forms here we can have glass containers metal cans composite containers rigid plastic package so all these are rigid packaging materials and forms then semi rigid packaging materials and forms here we can have aluminum containers set up paper board boxes and folding paper board carton so these are another semi rigid not very hard but not very flexible here is the third category that is the flexible packaging materials firstly of paper origin the basic papers used consists of bonds tissue litho crafts gasiness parchment and grease proof then second films that is of plastic origin that is cellophane cellulose acetate polyethylene polypropylene polyamide polyester polyvinyl chloride polyvinyl lidin chloride polyvinyl acetate polyvinyl alcohol so these are the most common flexible plastic films and then there is a new generation of films like amylage films ionomers that is a combination of two different layers ethylene vinyl acetate that is a copolymer and sometime polypropylene copolymers and coextruded structured films aluminum files steel files etc and finally the flexible package forms it can be wrappers preformed bags or envelopes pouches or collapsible tubes so these are different aspect of flexible packaging materials here we will discuss about the characteristics of packaging films firstly flexibility and mechanical strength that is very very important all plastic packaging materials or films are have, having flexibility they are having lightweight and easy recycling they are non toxic and odorless resistance to hot and cold temperatures resistance to oil and fats good barrier properties against gases so normally no gases or air should permeate through this films and sealing capability and low cost so they should have good sealing property and cost should be less now we are going to see the packaging of different milk and milk products so first we will see about the packaging of liquid milk before we go for it here is the common process which we have discussed many times the basic processing steps like reception cooling clarification preheating pasteurization then processing of any products whatever it is and then we get the finished product now this finished product has to go to packaging and after that there is storage or distribution this is the standard flow for any liquid milk or even for milk products so at the finishing stage of the product there is packaging where we are focusing more now here we will see at a glance different kind of dairy products and their packaging material firstly liquid milk it can be glass bottles paper laminate for tetra packs or flexible pouches mostly of plastic origin in case of milk powder we can have tin plate containers or metallized aluminum files line cartons or bag in box or powder filled in laminates in case of butter we can most commonly duplex board with parchment paper tin plate containers or aluminum foil for cheese or cheese spread 
pin plate containers, aluminum foil in duplex board carton. In case of ghee, tin plate container or flexible pouches. In case of ice cream, plastic containers, duplex board cartons or laminates. So here is a brief idea about different packaging materials for different kind of milk and milk. Here we will discuss in little more details about the different category of milk products, their significance and packaging requirements. Firstly, fluid milk products. We can have in this category toned milk, double toned milk, full cream milk, flavored milk, etc. The significance is they are highly perishable due to high moisture, ideal for microbes and presence of photosensitive components. The packaging requirement is protection against light and oxygen. The second category, dried milk products, which could be whole milk powder, skim milk powder, dried mixes or whey protein concentrate. The significance is they have low moisture, high fat and photosensitive. So here the requirement is protection against water vapor. So water vapor should not enter inside and protection against light and oxygen. The third category is fat rich products which include butter, spreads, even ghee also can be in this category and the significance is high fat with fat soluble vitamins and pleasant aroma. The requirement is protection against oxidative and hydrolytic rancidity and aroma protection. And the fourth category is fermented dairy products. The examples are cheese, kefir, dahi yogurt, lassi, labne, etc. And their significance is beneficial bacteria with characteristic flavors and B vitamins. They need protection. So there should be protection against light, oxygen, moisture and gas barrier, aroma protection and texture protection. This is in continuation of packaging requirements of different kind of dairy products. So in case of traditional Indian dairy products, there is barfi, peda, paneer, gulab jamun, rasagulla, ghee, etc. The significance is high fat, low moisture products with characteristic flavors and the requirement is protection against moisture, light, preservation of aroma and texture. And the last category is long life products like UHT milk, sterilized milk, retard processed products, like paneer curry, canned products, like rasagulla, gulab jamun, etc. The significance is they are sterile, medium to high fat, characteristic flavors with minimum headspace in the pack. The requirement is protection against microorganisms, light, oxygen, moisture and container surface and preservation of aroma. Now we will discuss about the different category of milk and milk products and their packaging. First is about liquid milk. So the flexible pouches are 92% in this category used. Then glass bottles 7% and aseptic packaging only 1%. Plastic materials in aseptic packaging of milk product are polyethylene, polypropylene and polystyrene etc. Popular commercial systems available are tetra pack, combi block, pure pack, hind pack, etc. They are economic and highly saving the cost of packaging. Here we can see the different types of packaging of liquid dairy products at different format like plastic cans, plastic bottles and the paper packs and flexible plastic packaging as I have discussed previously. Here once again we can see the different important common brand of liquid milk mostly in flexible plastic pouches. They are the major market for the regular milk supply in India. Now we will see about the packaging of cream. The shelf life of refrigerated cream is 1 to 2 days. Packaging consists of polyethylene coated paper boards. In India, cream generally packed in 250 ml glass bottles, individual pack or consumer's own container. Tin plate containers are also used for larger sizes. 
whipped creams sold in aerosol cans and polyethylene tubs, imitation cream packed in wax coated paperboard cartons. Here we can see the commonly practiced packaging for cream in the industry. It is in tetra packs, it is whipped cream in another kind of packaging and at the bottom we can see individual pack for cream. Now we will understand about the packaging of butter. Generally it is a pat of butter most commonly used and then manual molded butter that is hand packaged then machine molded butter automated version of hand packaged butter and there is butter in this most popular for reduced fat and finally there is mini butter for markets with limited buying power and high demand and jar of butter for larger quantities. So these are the common form and material for packaging of butter. Here we can see the different form of packaging of butter in pat of butter, machine molded butter, roll of butter, dish of butter, mini butter and jar of butter. Here we can see the common form of butter marketed in India. Mostly there is a layer of butter paper inside the paper or sometimes it is packed in plastic containers. So some of the common brand we can see here sold in Indian market. Now we will see about the packaging of ghee. Upon prolonged storage ghee undergoes lipid oxidation. So it needs proper packaging. The firstly there can be rigid material like tin plate container. It protects the product against tampering and being sturdy can be transported to distant places. For long term storage and transport it is very good. Then semi rigid containers. It provides a moderately long shelf life, lightweight, economical and transport worthy. And the third category is flexible films or pouches. So limited quantities of less than 1 kg can be packed in flexible pouches and it is very economical for retail market and handling and storage in the home. Here we can see the packaging of fat rich dairy products mostly butter and ghee. It is there in parchment paper with butter paper or in plastic bottles or cans, tin cans or other tin different shape and size. Here we can see the popular packaging of ghee in Indian market most popular brands. There are large number of brands because in Indian market the ghee is most important dairy products almost 50% of the total products consumed in India is ghee. So now about packaging of paneer. It has a salt shelf life in refrigerator about 7 days and without refrigeration in room temperature only about 24 hours. There are some studies about packaging of paneer under vacuum packaging. And this vacuum packaging can increase the shelf life up to 30 days at refrigerator or around 6 degree Celsius. So in the picture we can see vacuum packaged paneer even it can be stored long time if we keep it in the freezer, freezer storage. Now we will see about the packaging of Kova. Normally it has a limited shelf life of 5 days at room temperature, hot filling of kova in tin cans increases shelf life up to 14 days at room temperature. So if we fill the kova in tin containers if at hot it can be stored long time. Recently there is special type of packaging material that is called laminates that is a combination of three different films like polyester, ethylene vinyl alcohol and polythene. All together we can merge and make a film that is called laminates in which we can store up to 10 days at 37 degree Celsius and 60 days at refrigeration temperature. Tin cans and rigid plastic containers of 15 kg capacity can be used. For large scale this is the tin cans can be used or plastic containers can be used for coa packaging. 
now about some sweets like gulab jamun and rasagulla which are very common in indian market rasagulla can be preserved in sugar syrup in tin cans of 500 gram or 1 kg capacity the proportion of rasagulla and syrup is 40 is to 60 and it stays well up to 6 months then gulab jamun largely packaged without syrup in paper cartons or polyester boxes though lacquer tin can most suitable it is very expensive so gulab jamun can also be packed in tin containers with lacquering and that will give a long storage life but cost will be more now we will see about the packaging of whole milk powder as we have discussed earlier in details the milk powders are prepared either through roller or drum process or spray drying Rapid flavor deterioration can happen in case of powder due to oxidation and general procedure is to remove oxygen by subjecting the product to vacuum within 24 hours of drying. So if we can remove the air then it will create vacuum and that will have a longer shelf life and less than 2% final oxygen considered satisfactory. Coating with an impermeable material or the addition of antioxidants also done. So in case of milk powder most important thing is the packaging material should be totally impermeable to moisture and gas and it will be good if there is a coating and some antioxidants are applied. Here we can see different kind of containers and packaging materials for powders, milk powders of different kind. Most suitable is tin plate container or tin cans where it can be stored for long time because it has got total barrier of moisture and air and oxygen and then we can have pouches of course it will have a limitation we can have paper cartons we can have sashes and of course in the top that is for ghee packaging now we will see about the packaging of fermented dairy products most commonly dahi misti dahi yogurt srikhand they are most popular most of these dahi and misti dahi are packed in earthen pots and otherwise nowadays they are done in plastic cups. The, there are certain drawbacks with the earthen pots like they are too heavy for transport, they are breakable, expensive, cannot be sealed or covered properly and sometimes there will be shrinkage of product. Whereas the cups like polystyrene and polypropylene cups of 100, 200 and 500 gram they are very convenient and that's why they are most popular today for packaging of all fermented dairy products inclu including yogurt, dahi, misti dahi etc. Now we will discuss about the packaging of cheese. Normally cheese is coated with a wax layer to protect from contamination that is in case of bigger bulk. Cheese may be packaged in plastic films as slices and they are also packed as cubes or whole pat in aluminium or tin foil. So sometimes we can have pieces and pack in aluminium containers or metal containers primarily transported in cartons. So these are different aspects of packaging of cheese. Now finally we will talk about the packaging of ice cream. Ice cream is a frozen product so the packaging material should be suitable to withstand the minus 20 degree and below temperature most commonly they are packed in cones or in pouches but nowadays it is more common in plastic cups of different origin of plastic or there are bulk packets for larger quantity like 500 gram or 100, uh, 1 kg etc. So this kind of different attract attractive packaging of ice cream products are available nowadays. Now basic packaging of different products we have discussed. This is about some of the special products which are specially processed that is the aseptic packaging. This I have discussed in connection with UHT processed milk. Aseptic packaging can be defined as the process in which UHT processed or sterilized milk is filled in pre-sterilized containers under aseptic or sterile environment. So the product is sterile, packaging material is sterile and the packaging atmosphere or environment is sterile. This ensures that there is no post-processing contamination of the milk so that the product has longer shelf life. So UHT or sterilized milk can be stored for long time. 
Now we will talk about the composition of aseptic packaging material. The major part is paper 70%. It provides stiffness, strength and the efficient brick shape. Then polyethylene plastic 24%. It forms the seal on the innermost layer that makes the package liquid tight and a protective coating on the exterior keeps the package dry. And the third is aluminium which is about 6% that is like a fine film forms a barrier against light and oxygen eliminating the need for refrigeration and preventing spoilage without using chemical preservative. So these are the composition of the aseptic packaging material for UHT processed or sterilized milk. So we are at the end of today's lecture. Today our topic was packaging of milk and milk products. Initially we have discussed about what is packaging, what is the requirement, what is the role, what is the function, different kind of packaging material, their form, their flexibility and properties etc. And then we have discussed about the packaging of different kind of milk products. Briefly we have tried to discuss about different packaging, different milk products and their properties and their significance and packaging requirements. And then one by one we have discussed briefly about each dairy product starting with milk, liquid milk and after that different dairy products like butter, khoa, cream, ghee, milk powder, fermented dairy products, ice cream etc. Thank you. Thanks for watching.